Hello and welcome folks, pause and we are bringing you match 7 at Capital Punishment of One More Match, DLC. Randy Orton is an 8 time world champion. Randy Orton has been cleared to compete tonight at Capital Punishment. A lot has been made over a concussion Randy Orton suffered at the hands of Christian a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, you know Michael, I had a chance to speak with Randy Orton earlier today and I asked him about what the symptoms of the concussion were like. He said it felt strange, that it was hard to focus on things, that you'd forget subtle things like your name or your friend's name. That could be a major factor in a match like this, but Randy is medically cleared to compete. After that giant title shot we gave him in the previous match, or rather Christian gave him, Randy would now make his way down to the ring here at Capital Punishment to defend his World Heavyweight Championship against the man he has faced a few times already in this 2K showcase, Christian. Christian continuously asking for just one more match for that World Heavyweight Championship as Orton now makes his way into that ring with that big gold belt here in Washington, D.C. And now his opponent, who the crowd are now booing for when they were happy in the beginning, Christian. Christian came out and said by giving Randy Orton the concussion, he gave Randy Orton an excuse. So Randy could blame the concussion when Christian beats him. Christian said the reason I'm going to beat Randy Orton is because, quote, I'm just better. Yeah, if Christian doesn't win this match, though, it could ruin his entire career. Ruining his entire career is a very big prospect to be going into this match with that on the line against the Viper, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Christian has had some trouble against Orton in previous matches where he feels like the matches were stolen away from him. Both his initial title shot, his rematch along with that number one contender triple threat match which Randy Orton tried to even help Christian get another match against him. Christian now gets an opportunity by attacking the world heavyweight champion with that title belt while he was the special guest referee on SmackDown in the previous video of one more match 2K Showcase DLC. Now a capital punishment Christian gets his title match just one more time as he tries to beat Randy Orton for that big gold belt. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger from Toronto, Canada, weighing in at 227 pounds, Christian. And from St. Louis, Missouri, Weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Champion, Randy Orton. Christian is a terribly bitter man. He won the world title and lost it five days later to Randy Orton and blames the WWE Universe for voting to put him in that match. Well, Christian used to respect his peeps. I'll tell you, I'm getting goosebumps just waiting for the bell to ring. Christian's turned his back on his fans, and I personally think it's going to help... They made a mistake recording a very long uh, recorded audio for a segment that is of prefix length. And with everything that's now Orton gets sent to their corner here. And big slam there by Christian as we get the first lock. That European upcut is so short. But we get a counter there and now a couple of big kicks. Roll over kick by Christian as now we get a nice counter there 
sustained. I have a feeling he's I'm not to come to a huge fan of the color and elbow tie-up. It's a good addition, but I don't always want to use it here. As you see, a big clothesline coming down on us while we're on the bottom of this mat. One of our two competitors here run out of energy, then we will move out of this collar and elbow tie-up. I'm going to actually go for a few strikes in the face to do some damage. And Christian seems to have a counter for us here. And we found the uh, red spot about the same time as he did, but Christian seems to have a better handle on this sort of uh, tie-up situation here. It's Odin with a nice headlock, head scissors, and now a big European uppercut as we need to critically damage Christian and also perform an RKO. So we can build one RKO and then try and use that to get that critical damage on Christian as he does another low clothesline to us. And now a counter, big strike to the face. As now we've got him up against the ropes, and now we're going to do a big suplex onto the ropes, getting those abdomens a bit of a workout as we grab Christian again, big DDT, weakening up the head. We can actually go target the head now as we want to soften that up for that RKO. And we've got a signature here on the head that we could actually do these series of kicks and damage the head further of Christian with that big boot to the face. As now, we do a charge finisher here, calling for him to get up, coiling the Viper. That is Randy Orton as we go for that RKO. KO, oh man, great counter. Here's the cover, up to the leg, oh and a kick out. Oh, Christian thought he had him there. Again, a very frustrated Christian. Got to be wondering what it takes to beat Randy Orton, or maybe he's wondering if he can beat Randy Orton. Look out! Went for the spear. Went up over the top, but for the RKO! And Christian with a counter. Spear! Cover! And now they're giving us the opportunity to kick out here. And we had a huge uh, kick out bar there. As we now get a set down to the mat here by Christian. They give us a good opportunity to kick out of that cutscene. As we get a headlock applied and we are sent down to the mat here. Now we simply have to damage Christian critically in one area, likely going to target the head. As that is the easiest part for us to damage here as Randy Orton with his signature maneuver and with his finisher. But Christian with this low clothesline sending us down into the mat once again. He is very getting very close to a signature maneuver, but we're able to counter and now we will have the advantage in our corner, the momentum to go towards doing more damage and getting him towards that critical state as now he's in that orange area on the head and now these boots, these vicious boots against the head, he counters now and now might be able to get the advantage, but I'm going to grab him now and do what appears to be a big suplex here right in the center of the ring as we can try and target that head a bit more gotta get a few kicks in here I actually have to get closer to him we're gonna wait for him to get up and now go for another grab here as we get a headlock looks like another suplex here gotta slam him pretty much into the ref as now his midsection is also in that yellow area as now I actually seem to target the arm which I didn't entirely mean to do now we can uh, I was going to try and do that signature kick again. But now we can set him down onto the mat and try and perform that signature maneuver on his head. Ref, get out of the way. I got to do some kicking as I kick the arm, the leg, the other leg, the face, and now the head. As now I'm very close to probably critically damaging Christian. And I'm going to try and do this big boot to the face. And now we just simply need to perform an Irish whip into any corner. So he was able to counter and I get into a um, package roll-up 
I need to cancel out of that. And now I'm gonna try and grab him. He counters once again. And I counter one again once again into this uh, little package roll up. But I'm simply just trying to whip him into the corner like they want me to. But now this did not I did not get the counter that time. And now Christian with the advantage. I'm able to roll out of the way there. And there we go. Ooh, into the turnbuckle. Ah, oh, Christian, great move. And now Christian gonna go up top. He's flying. Oh, missed it. Oh, it went for the RKO. Randy Orton with an RKO. Here's the cover. Hook of the leg. And this one's over. Randy Orton picks up the victory. Here is your winner and still the world heavyweight champion, Randy Orton. The Viper has Christian's number. Boy, and how quick was that? Like lightning. Well, that's what we know about the Viper. He can strike at any given time, and he did. Oh, wait a minute. Christian is trying to say that his leg was underneath the bottom rope. That referee should have stopped him now. You know, he may be right. He's arguing vehemently here with the referee. The ref is saying, hey, I didn't see it that way. Oh, he's blasting Christian with the championship. Not gonna wait around to let Christian clean his pace. 